Well, and I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan. And not necessarily like the games per se, but mm-hmm. like just the brand in general. I mean, <laughs> I have uh, my entire right arm is tattooed Mortal Kombat. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> like you didn't fucking know that. <laughs> you fucking dickhead. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> Go on. And I need a lot of help. Okay. <laughs> in general, actually, not even just with the movie. I just need a lot of help in general. So we're gonna I will help you. I will help you click that helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> That was the dumbest laugh. It was a real laugh. It was a real laugh, but I realized how fucking stupid it sounded coming up like. <laughs> I'm ready whenever you are. Yeah, you gotta. Ask oh me yeah. Me. <laughs> are you ready whenever I'm ready? I'm, I've been ready. <laughs> how does this show work again? <laughs> it's just been so long, uh, you know. So basically, what happens is you and I show up, chaos ensues, and then we die. Cool, I'm looking forward to that last part a lot. <laughs> yeah, this is Raiden. He's like he's like the main good guy. Do I have to call him Raiden or can I just call him Lightning Man? Because my You're gonna do whatever you're gonna do because we're in physically two different locations and you have no fear of me actually reaching across and smacking you. Oh, so. that's true. You can't stop me. Lightning man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate everything. It looks like this like humanoid Komodo dragon looking thing. Oh, I just call it sneaky lizard. <laughs> sneaky lizard. <laughs> I hate you and everything you stand for. <laughs> As they're trying to fight Sneaky Lizard, Kano breaks free and helps Sonya and... Co- <laughs> you fucker, I had coffee in my mouth. <laughs> yes, I got a spit take on camera. Oh. All right. <laughs> Back, baby. <laughs> As they're trying to fight Sneaky Lizard... <laughs> Why would I take a sip of any other liquid? This is, okay, this is my fault. This is totally my fault here. I understand. I get it. Oh, my God. Wow. All right, I'm taking it. All right, don't talk yet. Kind of wins. This is awesome, dude. Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah, it is. I don't know why I was about to get all irritated. Yeah, I was like, wait, I'm I'm enjoying <laughs> your movie. You just automatically, just uh, anything I say, you have to fucking nag me on. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Cool. I'm just I'm just getting ready for you to give them fucking stupid nicknames. <laughs> <laughs> Fair concern. Then we see Sonya employing guerrilla style tactics against Kano before she sort. Then we see Sonya employing guerrilla style tactics against Kano before she sort. Seashell, seashells by the seashore. <laughs> because we learned that Thai kings rode to battle on elephants and derived their power and spirit from them. Yeah. These elephants are entrusted to a select group of warriors trained in Mai Tai. Not Mai Tai. Mai Tai is a drink. <laughs> <laughs> and thank God. <laughs> and thank God we blow pie it. <laughs> blow pie it. Blow pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't... And honestly, I just wish someone would look at me like Calm looks at elephant corn. <laughs> it's touching. I don't know why the way you said elephant corn made me think of like a giant co- cob of corn. A corn with elephantitis. <laughs> yeah. That's my impression of corn with elephantitis. <laughs> I'm so big uh, and I don't know why. <laughs> Oh my god. That's terrible. That was really bad. It's a coincidence of global It's a Also, I have a question. Sure. Why is this gangbanger? Like clearly he's some kind of like, you know, honcho guy or whatever. Yeah. Why is he driving a Toyota Celica? Like they not a BMW, not a Mercedes, a Toyota. I don't know the car culture in Australia. But reasons? Uh, <laughs> I thought I was going to have enough. something more to say about it. I just don't. I had right, no explanation enough. for this, nor did I even fucking think about it. You were the, <laughs> you would be the one to think about this. I was. But, you know, I guess thanks for bringing that to our attention, Dave. Yeah, of course. Like, the glass budget for this film must have been extraordinary. <laughs> Through the roof. Or the window. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I see you. I see you, Dave. I like that. Mr. Sim runs the Chinese gang. And who else is there, Dave? Our cop friends, Mark and his partner, Other Guy. I was going to guess Batman. Close. <laughs> Tie Batman. Tie Batman. <laughs> With Tie Man. <laughs> And his Alfred just happens to be elephants. <laughs> but also his Batmobile is elephants. <laughs> it's elephants all the way down. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Utility belt, elephants. <laughs> Bat cave, elephants. <laughs> It's his home, his transportation, and his friends. <laughs> Robin, elephants. <laughs> These are multi-use elephants. <laughs> Swiss Army elephants. <laughs> Swiss Army elephants. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Who happened to be producing a random music video in the middle of this movie? It's true, dude. Cue the sexy music, and Pia... <laughs> She's undressing in front of the commissioner. It's really nice. (laughs) (laughs) He said it's so lonely. Oh my god, I have never heard a phrase that needs to get laid more than that one. (laughs) My thoughts got tangled up in my head of where I was going next with that. (laughs) It came out as the most fucking (laughs) pathetic ass thing. And while Vincent is like harassing people, Rose Mm -hmm. decides to poison the net her. Rose decides to poison her nephews, who are the next in Rome. Oh, my fucking God. (coughs) Put your teeth back in. (coughs) Clack, clack, clack. (laughs) Yeah, it's absolutely grotesque. What the fuck did you just say? (laughs) What was that? (laughs) Am I having a stroke or are you having a stroke? (laughs) Is this a collective stroke nightmare? (laughs) i love that you're not on fucking tiktok (laughs) oh was i supposed to get that no i guess not no i knew you weren't gonna that's why i said it (laughs) it's a tiktok bit where where it's 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 two characters it's the same person playing two characters but she does that she goes yeah it was really grotesque what'd you say Grotesque? It's grotesque. Oh, I didn't even know what you oh. were going for. <laughs> <laughs> like literally the first thing I thought I was like, did Dave like get a thesaurus <laughs> for his like birthday or something? And he just finally decided to open it. He's dropping some knowledge nuggets on me. What's going on? <laughs> like he probably couldn't even grip the elephant leg. Let alone fucking, let alone fucking helicopter it out of his hand. I don't know if there was a sound effect in there, but I can just imagine. (laughs) Corn must have been launched into fucking orbit because he's just gone now. We don't see him for a minute. So he's stuck up in the rafters. (laughs) Call the janitor with his long pokey stick. Stuck him in the rafters like the one kickball <laughs> after the kid who takes gym class too seriously got up to bat. Yeah, yeah let's we got it. We got two volleyballs, a basketball, and a baby <laughs> elephant up there, sir. So make sure you bring the long stick. <laughs> Terrible. Rose is able to grab a rope that hangs from the heli- from the rafters. <laughs> it says helicopter. <laughs> it said rafters. <laughs> what am I doing? We're like fucking four notes out. Rose is able to grab a rope. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks from 
the rafters after the janitor got stuck too. <laughs> but we cut to black yeah. and fade back up to Mark, Officer Mark. <laughs> He's getting recognized as being innocent. So I'm really glad we got that closure, I guess. Yeah. Because this movie is about Mark. <laughs> this is all a backdoor vehicle for Mark <laughs> in the sequel, The Protector 2. <laughs> Mark stops for Thai food. <laughs> or as he calls it, food. Choked to death. I hate you. 